Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So in previous videos, we are very much familiar with select function and where function and we've played enough uh, with examples for those. So now uh, with that good much uh, with that much understanding on those. So now I'm going ahead with the group by. So basically what a group by actually does uh, in order to show you what is the requirement of this uh, group by function, I would uh, show you the reference uh, sheet that I'm taking here. So let's say this is my uh, Excel sheet that I have. So what exactly the group by does is it will group all of the items that are there under a particular column. So here in this example, in this video, we are going to see uh, one query, how we can write that it groups all the items that belongs to a particular column into a separate group. So here, if you ask me, if we write a group by function uh, for this with respect to item description as a constraint, then it will group all of this as one group and this into the group two, this into group three and this into group four. So this is how we will do the group by function with respect to a particular column. So let's run this workflow and see how we are going to do. So initially, uh, before I actually explain you the query, so I'm just uh, having some references here. So wherein it would run through the file and it would provide me the how many uh, you know groups are there with respect to each key. And also it will give the items into the data table. And also we can even see that into the output console. So let's quickly run this and check how this actually works. So yeah, it's getting executed. Um, we can see here, <clears throat> We can see here it shows rice is of 10 times, pencil box is of six times, iPhone is of three times. This this item is of four times. So it's how it will be displayed. And I have written the values into one data table. So if you see, I have differentiated it with the sheet. So rice, pencil box, iPhone, and Lenovo laptop. So we can just cross check them with uh, the uh, count that we've, we've got in the output console. It shows 10, right? So we can just check if it is matching with the whatever the count that we are getting here. And this is the price column that we are extracting separately. So in this video, you will be getting a clear cut understanding of how to write a query and how to extract that particular values as a data table and also separately as a, um, you know, a particular, if we have, if we want to extract a particular column, how we can do that. So everything uh, that I have covered uh, to group by the elements with respect to a particular column. So firstly, you all know that I am using a read range in order to read the Excel sheet and I'm having the output into a DT group by data table. So after which, what I'm exactly going to do here is, um, so let's try to recreate this workflow. So for this, instead of explaining you the actual uh, query which was already written, I'll take a step-by-step -step approach and explain you clearly. Okay, so let's write the query here. So what we are actually doing, we are taking uh, the data table that we wanted to, uh, that we have the input file in. And we all know that we have to convert that into an enumerable. So for that, I'm using as enumerable. So after that, we were doing where and select operation. So here our requirement is to group by with respect to a particular column name. So here is just the same syntax that I'm using. So let's say this is a row because it contains all the rows, right? Row of, uh, so here I wanted to take, I wanted to group this with respect to item description as the column name, right? So till here, it's pretty much clear for every one of you. It, it's, it's very straightforward, but you know where the challenge comes in? here the group by what is a return type of the group by if you just observe here clearly it's an enumerable of i grouping and uh, it's of type key and the data row so what exactly is the key and what are the data row values that it is giving us so this is the main point that we have to understand over here 
So for that, I'm changing this into, uh, so how to check for this data type is just go and browse for I grouping. Just that what we found in the uh, written type of group by here, you can just select key as a string. Uh, depends on the value that I'll show you uh, after some time. So here it's a data row. It's very clear, right? So just select this. And once after you select this. So here, uh, in order to understand what are the return values from here. So first, let me show this in a debug mode. Then you can understand it. So here, let me close this. And let's take a log message, put it inside the for each. So if you just see here, this item is a value that is of type. We are, we are giving the type of it as a enumerable that contains string and a data row, right? So the string is of uh, type key. It is, um, so what exactly I'm doing over here is, I'm taking the key value. So I'll shortly explain you what does this key means also. So let's just uh, comment this out for a while until we see what is this uh, value is exactly. So I'll put a breakpoint here and explain you this in debug mode so that you can understand clearly. So yeah, I am in the immediate panel. So here I'm going to show you what exactly this item is carrying at each iteration. So here I'm taking item. So if you just see here, it has all these values, right? So it has a string and a data row. It has all these values. So all this comes under a single group. Single group. Under this iteration, these are the particular items that the item is holding, correct? So let's say, hit continue in the next iteration, the values will be changing. That would be comprising of the second group items, right? So if you see it, it holds the values of a pencil box. So this is pretty much clear, right? So it is holding the values of uh, each group at a time. And it is of the type we can say here, that's what we've defined here, right? It's of type I grouping with a it's like a dictionary. It's holding a string and the data row. And you know, what are, what are all the data rows that are inside this particular group are referred with respect to a key. So what is that key? It's like a key value pair. So what is that key exactly that we are printing? So first, uh, iteration contains all the rows that have, uh, that are linked with the key, which is an, which is rice. Okay. So the, in the same way, the second, uh, data rows are linked with the key called pencil box. So it's like that, uh, it is grouping. We are grouping it with respect to this particular key. I hope this is clear till this point. And yeah. So one, two, three, four. So these are the four different groups that we have. So now uh, if you want to see what is the count of this, so how we can write, I just kept one, um, just a text. Mm, repeated these many times, right? So for that, I would give item dot count. So yeah, dot two string because it's of type integer. Okay, so it will just iterate and it will give us the count of it. So for that, I'll just run this workflow and we can see it over here. So we can see how many times the rise is repeated. Rise repeated 10 times, pencil box is repeated six times, it's three and it's four times. So that's how we can take. So now we are clear, what does a item contains? It contains the uh, keys and also the data rows against that particular key. And now we, are, we know how to extract the key, right? So let's say um, for this particular key, I wanted to extract what are all the values are there against that particular key, right? So for that, we are, we already know this one, but I'll just give you uh, a quick 
point how we can do it so i'm just deleting the range <clears throat> so we have seen in the debug panel that item contains all the data rows along with a key right so i am just copying this into a data table and i wanted to write this into uh an excel that i already have here group by table so i want to write this into this excel but when i write i want to differentiate it with respect to the key as a different sheet okay so that's why i'm giving item dot key so this is how i want this to be so for this i am going to um let's delete this data table uh, excel and run in a fresh set i hope it's clear till this point right so we are taking the each key value into a separate sheet and we are printing it out so let's check this out okay so as usual i forgot to give the headers so i'll just add the headers and then you can see here right so we got rice pencil box everything into a different sheets and all these are a particular group we have grouped it with respect to a column name item description so just i'll just give the add headers okay and now so let's say i don't i am not interested in extracting whole data table and i want a particular column or something then it's it's quite simple i am just pulling a for each for each row because it's a, it's a data table let's let me take for each row and still need this so for each row in this data table i am going to extract so for that i will just keep a log message okay and it's just simple like how we do usually if you want to extract only a particular uh, column name so i'm going to give price dot string just that's it and we'll get we can print all the prices that are against it so just run this file and we can check that in output so 10 are there so all these are the 10 items that are having the uh, prices of all the 10 items and six are there these are the six three and four finally so that's how we can do uh, so we've seen everything clearly uh, how we can group by with respect to a particular column and what are the data type output values that it uh, the group by usually gives and how to uh, you know use them in order to uh, uh, get our required output so in if you want each we, we know that each um, a uh, group is linked with a particular key so that's why we can separate that uh, all the values that it has extracted under a particular key into a data table uh, and we've written into an excel so let's say if you don't want the whole data table but you were interested in a particular column values then this is how we can do so this is one such way of writing group by uh, there are many other ways this is uh, this one constraint that we have with this because it can be used only for extracting you know or grouping the items with respect to a single column information so if you wanted to do with multiple column information or you want to combine two two columns and want to write then we have separate other syntax so as we are going uh, from basics to advanced so i am going to you know level up uh, at a, each video so i hope this is clear this has given a pretty good understanding of how to group by and what is actually group by and what are the different you know data uh, uh, type that a group by would return and how we have to collect them and you know how we have to uh, use them as per our requirement so i think it's pretty much clear if you have um, find this video useful do like the video and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because going forward we will be seeing how to do group by 
by by using different columns and also after grouping by we have multiple uh, scenarios wherein we can you know sum up the different columns or find the um, uh, uh, aggregate values or find the minimum maximum and everything uh, we have multiple other functions also which we can include in group by and also there are complex scenarios that we can inc include in group by and do different actions on it so we'll see all these things going forward so in order to not miss any of the videos do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching